Hello there! Warehouses and city skylines are really useful. However, without careful planning, they will clog up your roads. First, I will show you a fix for this in vanilla city skylines, then we'll show you a modded one as well. In this video, I will be using the largest warehouse available in the industry still see with 40 trucks. We have a default two lane road here, and as you can see, the traffic is backed up a lot. You might be saying now, that is not realistic and surely a large warehouse like this would be located on a wider road in real life. So I drove down to a local industrial area to a warehouse on a two lane road with no dedicated turn lanes. Trucks and vans often have to stop turning left into the yard to let opposing traffic through first. Thus, they block traffic behind them. City Skyline seems to be accurate in that regard then. Alleviating our traffic issues is however quite simple, even in the vanilla game, not using mods. Forcing traffic to use an intersection rather than just accessing the warehouse from the road allows us to better tweak the traffic flow. Also, we're setting back the warehouse further from the road and thus giving trucks more space to queue up, turn around and so on. As you can see, this already fixed our issue a little bit. While there is still a backup in front of our warehouse, the main road no longer has blocked through traffic. Okay, now let's use some mods to fix our issues here. We will need Traffic Manager, Move It, Find Road Anarchy, one of the available one lane one way roads from the workshop and lastly the building spawn points mod. The links are in the video description below. So here's what we're going to do with all these mods. We will clip a one way road system into the warehouse and adjust the building spawn points. Enable Fine Road Anarchy by pressing Ctrl A, then select the one lane one way road and build as is shown on screen. The trick here is to start with the one way road on the right and have it exit the warehouse on the left. That way entering and exiting vehicles won't block each other. Press M to toggle move it. Only activate nodes and segments and double check that your road actually goes through the warehouse. Now open up traffic manager and block every vehicle besides trucks from using that road. Now click on the warehouse and click on the building spawn points icon. A menu will open. Press the X next to the cargo truck. We will now add new spawn and despawn points for the cargo trucks. Click add point, click the plus icon that says add vehicle type and select the cargo truck. Toggle the box that says spawn to its off setting. Move the spawn point inside of the building to the right where we place our road going through the warehouse. Make sure that the point is angled in the direction of the one way road. Now repeat the process but this time do the same for a spawn point instead of a despawn point and move it to the other side of the warehouse. Press escape after you're done to close the menu and save the settings. You can additionally tweak the road nodes with move it to align them with the loading base so it looks as if the trucks were entering and exiting the warehouse through them. As you can see our one way system has fixed the traffic issues. I'm using the same process to alleviate traffic issues in industrial areas in my current project Moorbook, which I built live on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash Erkrieger. You can also check out cinematics of this project in the playlist shown here. Thanks for watching.